Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Post Cologne. Today I'm going to be unboxing three Latafa fragrances I recently got in, including Latafa's Samu Platinum. So let's jump into it. All right, so we are back with another unboxing first impressions video of three Latafa fragrances that I recently got in as part of a larger Latafa fragrance haul from Perfumes Online. Links are going to be down in the description if you decide you want to check any of these out. Also have a coupon code. Save yourself five bucks off your first purchase at Perfumes Online if you decide you want to shop with them. Like I said, this is three Latafa fragrances as part of a larger Latafa fragrance haul that I recently got in. So hit that subscribe button. There's going to be another haul video coming out very, very soon here. And hit that like button while you're at it. Show your boy Post Cologne a little bit of love. So let's quit screwing around. Let's get into it. All right, so first up, we got Latafa Zaud Salama. Now you can pick this up for $20 at Perfumes Online, and I had never heard about this. This, this fragrance haul I got from Latafa from Perfumes Online, all of them I'm very unfamiliar with. You don't hear about these fragrances very often, so I'm hoping to find some hidden gems. So we're gonna see, but I gotta take the ribbon off before I do the whole, the whole knife flip here. So let's dig into it. All right, so there we have the box presentation for Latafa's Oud Salama. Very kind of, I don't even know what you would call this, very ornate. It kind of has like this leopard print on it, something you might see at a cougar at the bar, but nice kind of shimmery gold going on here. It is a nice box, but overall just a pretty straightforward cardboard box. It does have a slide off cover that's fairly tight. Give, give, me, give me a second. There we go. So, and there we have the box underneath, pretty much straightforward cardboard box. Let's look at the bottle. All right, so there we have the little bottle presentation for Latafa's Oud Salama. Not much to it, looks like a tiny little inkwell for the most part. It is a nice, thick, heavy glass. It does have some kind of floaties going on on the inside there. Cap on this is a thick acrylic, but pretty lightweight, and the atomizer on this sucker. Really nice atomizer. Wow, actually that shoots, that shoots across the room, so Pretty good atomizer on this. Pretty nice presentation. But what does this smell like? So right off the jump, just smelling this in the air right now. Very Middle Eastern vibe going on to this. Very fruity style of fragrance. A little bit of woods. There's definitely some oud that's mixed in there. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the original Latafa Ragba, like the OG Ragba. That's kind of the vibe I'm picking up right now. A little bit different, but let's dig into this. See what we're dealing with. Yeah, you definitely get those fruity notes right off the top and it does have that oud that's mixing in there. So it's giving it kind of like a boo, not a boozy kind of style, but it's got that kind of fermented fruit, that kind of wine style of kind of fruit accord that's going on to it. So it has, I guess that'd be a little bit of a booziness, but more of a wine style of like a fruity fermented oud style of fragrance. A little bit of musk that's in there and in the background, kind of tucked behind that oud, kind of dancing with that oud a little bit, is a little bit of a leatheriness. It is faint and it is in the background. Right now it is mostly that kind of fruity accord that's coming through, but that oud, that leather note are starting to play together a little bit and it does have that musk in there. So very Middle Eastern vibe. Like I said at the very beginning, that's what I'm getting from this. Yeah, it really has that kind of wine accord going with that fruit note with that oud mixing in there. It's, it's like like a glass of red wine almost like spilled on like a, like a leather purse at this moment. That's the kind of vibe I'm starting to get for this. It is quite pleasant. It is a fairly unisex fragrance right now. It feels like that leather wants to come forward a little bit more, but it's still tucked in behind all the rest of that opening. So let's skip to the dry down, see what we're dealing with. All right, so we are back with the dry down of Latafa's Oud Salama. Salama? It's been about an hour, let this settle down, do its own thing. Those fruit notes that were initially there, giving it that wineish sort of feel, have really fallen back and we are left with a very woody, ambery style of fragrance. The oud in this has gotten slightly smoky. It kind of like snuck up on me a little bit. So this has this, this more of a boldness to it than the initial opening where it was a little bit more fruity, a little bit more light and, and sort of unisex. This is kind of dried down to a very masculine, smoky, oud, woody, ambery style of fragrance. And it's, it's quite nice. It's nothing mind blowing. It is, I said at the beginning, it reminds me of Latafa's Ragba, the OG. Has a little bit of that. It's not as sweet as that one. This one has really dried down a lot more smoky, oody, woody. And it also reminds me a little bit of the pure oody. Um, this one, it reminds me a little bit of this one. 
definitely in the same kind of genre of those Latafa style of, of oud fragrances. So it's nothing mind blowing, it's nothing like too crazy or exciting, but it is a lovely fragrance. And I, I do like that smokiness that kind of came through with this one. So overall, pretty nice fragrance for 20 bucks. So if that sounds like something you want, might enjoy, I think you should check it out. It's Latafa's Oud Salama. All right, next up from the house of Latafa, we have Latafa's Ramad El Oud. I can scoop this up for $26 at Perfumes Online. Never heard of this one. It was the first time I came across this one, it was on Perfumes Online when I was putting together a cart. So let's find out what we're dealing with here. All right, so there we have the box presentation for Ramad Al Oud. Pretty much a typical cardboard box. It does have this kind of nice, kind of velvety, almost rubbery kind of textured pattern on the front there. So it is kind of a nice little added touch to a plain old cardboard box for the most part, but let's see what the bottle looks like. All right, so there we have the bottle presentation for Ramad El Oud. Actually kind of a nice bottle. It does have a cheap plastic kind of casing on this. You can kind of see how it's attached right there. I'm not sure if that's popping off or I think it's popping off a little bit. So it is a little bit cheap, but it is kind of a nice added touch, kind of a wood, wood grain here with some knots in there or whatever. Nice kind of gold on the sides as well, the Tafa logo up top. So overall, pretty nice bottle presentation for 26 bucks. Cap on this, fairly lightweight, it's got a little bit of a cheap feel to it, but it's sturdy enough that as powerful as I am, I don't think I could crush it with my hand. And the atomizer on this sucker, also a very nice atomizer. Definitely get the job done. What does this smell like? Oof, just smelling this in the air right off the jump. I, I'm liking this fragrance already. A very masculine style of fragrance. Very woody, has some leather notes in there, a little green going on to it, a little bit of smokiness going on. I'm, I'm excited for this. Let's get this on paper. Right off the jump off paper, it has a really nice fresh spiciness going on to it. There might be a little bit of bergamot in there, like a, like a tart citrus that's kind of elevating that fresh spiciness, but there is a greenness to this as well that's happening right now. A little bit aromatic, but it's a very fresh spicy. I can feel those woods coming through, has that leathery touch to it as well. It is a really nice opening. Very spicy style of fragrance. It's getting a lot woodier as this is starting to unfold and unravel a little bit. The fresh spiciness is starting to calm down just a little bit and those woods are coming forward a little bit more. And a mix of kind of some warm spice and that fresh spice along with a little bit of a leather note that's coming through has a nice kind of smoky feel that's starting to kind of slowly develop and creep forward. It's a very nice, bold, masculine scent profile. There is also that really nice green aspect to this, like a very green leather has like almost a resinous feel to it, kind of mixing in with that smoky woods and those spices this is this is very enjoyable if you can't tell let's skip to the dry down see how this develops and we'll go from there all right so we are back with the dry down of latafa's uh, ramada Oud. it's been about an hour let this settle down do its own thing awesome fragrance this is a like this won't be for everybody necessarily this is a very bold masculine style of fragrance so spicy woody has this leatheriness that's in there and there's this greenness to it as well. So the greenness kind of balances it off a little bit. It gives it almost a fresh spicy aspect to it. So this doesn't become too bold, dark and heavy, but the spices in this are just absolutely amazing the way they work with these like really dry leathery style of woods is a little hint of the smokiness that's kind of coming through. Just a beautiful, like I said, a masculine bold style of fragrance. I think this is gonna be an absolute beast performer as well. This is really pushing off the paper. I have to get this on skin, obviously. I can't do this just based off a test strip, but really excited about this one. Definitely gonna be a cool weather fragrance. If I wear this today, it's like 29 degrees Celsius out right now. I'm gonna probably choke myself out. Definitely gonna be a cool weather style of fragrance, and I'm definitely going to be doing a full review of this one once it cools down a little bit and I don't kill myself with this one. Awesome fragrance, I'm really excited about this one. And for 26 bucks, why didn't no one tell me about this one? I've asked you guys so many times to recommend Latafa fragrances and no one's mentioned this one. And I, I really like this one. I think you should be checking it out. That's Latafa's Ramad El Oud. All right, and last, but hopefully not least, we have Latafa's Samu Platinum. And you can also pick this up for $20 at Perfumes Online. And I've heard of this one. I've seen it around. It was like next to impossible to get in Canada, but it became available on Perfumes Online and here we are. So I am curious about this one. I've had a few of you ask me to give my thoughts on it. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this. All right, so there we have the uh, box presentation for Samu, Samo, Samu Platinum. Correct me in the comments. I'm not sure I'm saying that quite right. Typical cardboard box. It does have these, the cutouts though. These circles are cutouts. 
So that is an interesting little touch, but overall just a plain cardboard box. Let's see what the bottle looks like. All right, so there we have the bottle presentation for Samu Platinum. Very nice looking bottle to this. This is a really heavy too. This is like deceivingly heavy when, when you're seeing it on camera right now. Really thick metal to this. Has that platinum kind of silvery shine to it. Cap on this, a little bit more lightweight, does have a little bit of metal in it, but it's it's a little bit lighter than the, this bottle is incredibly heavy. I'm not sure if it's just the base or what's going on. And the atomizer on this. Uh-oh, oh, there we go. Not the greatest atomizer, but it will get the job done. What's this smell like? So right off the jump, just smelling this in the air. I, I like this one already as well. Has a nice kind of citrus, refreshing, uplifting sort of vibe going on to it with a little bit of spice that's mixed in there, like a little bit of pepperiness, a little bit of amber that's working in there. So there's some sweetness, there's some citrus, there's some spice working in, and a little hint of some dry woods in the air right now. This is, this is a nice scent profile. It's very interesting. So let's get this on paper. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh yeah, I like this. This has a really nice, lively, energetic style of like grapefruit that's at the top, some black pepper that's mixing in there as well. Sort of an earthy wood, a little bit of a dry wood kind of tucked in behind a little bit. And there is that amberiness that's kind of coming through as well. So it's a nice mix of some like energizing, revitalizing sort of citrus and spices that are mixed in there with a little touch of sweetness that's coming through. So it has that summer vibe, but it has that masculine vibe to it as well with those spices. Really, really nice. This is really well blended. This is, it's interesting. There's nothing that stands out too forward. It all kind of dances and sings together really nice. Like it's not a very like grapefruit forward. It's not black pepper punching in the face. It's not dry wood heavy, too earthy. It's all intermingling and dancing. So you don't really pick up anything distinctly if that makes any sort of sense. Balanced off citrus, sweet, spicy, woody, earthy style of fragrance. Very, very nice. I'm enjoying this one. Little hints of musk and patchouli are starting to come out from that base a little bit. So it's, it's mixing in with those accords I had just mentioned previously. Really nice scent accord going on to this. I'm enjoying this one quite a bit. Let's let it dry down, see what it does, and we'll go from there. All right, so we're back with the dry down of Latafa's uh, Samo Platinum. Been about an hour, let it settle down, do its own thing. The citrus that was initially in here has kind of backed off, obviously. That's typically what happens with top notes of citrus. So those have died down a little bit, but this is still a very nice, sweet, woody, green, kind of ambery, musky style of fragrance. I'm pretty sure some of that sweetness I was picking up from the beginning was like, it's like a churchy incense sort of sweet to it. It has that sort of vibe going on to it. There's like a sweet patchouli that's pushed forward a little bit more. So it has a little bit more kind of a green earthiness to it, but it's like a sweetness that's coming through as well. I'm not saying this is like a super sweet fragrance. I know I've just said sweet like four times in a row. Still has that little balance of that spice that's coming through has that little bit of that incense smokiness that's working its way in as well. And a nice kind of woodiness to it, a green style of woodiness, a dryness to it as well. But this still has like this fresh sort of vibe going on to it, which is might be a little bit of that lingering citrus that's in there, but it's kind of very a light wood that's in there, a very bit of an airy wood that's mixed in there with again, those kind of sweet greens, a little bit of that incense. It's just a really nice fragrance. And I think this is a pretty versatile one. I think this is gonna be, Kind of a year round style of fragrance. I, like spring, fall for sure is the vibe I'm getting with this one. But I still think you can wear this in the summer. It has that little bit of a fresh vibe going on to it. So definitely going to be doing a full review on this one once I get it on skin, really sink my teeth into it and figure out what exactly this smells like in the scent profile. But very excited about this one. This was a great pickup. Thank you all for recommending this one. It was not on my radar until you did. So that's why I appreciate you guys. So definitely worth checking out and for 20 bucks at Perfumes Online. I think this is an absolute steal of video. So links, links, links down in the description if you wanna check it out. That's Latafa's Samu Platinum. All right, so there you have it. That's at three new Latafa fragrances that, that I recently got in from Perfumes Online. First impressions, unboxing. I went, I think three for three, but I really enjoyed it, two of those three. The, the, the Salma was just kind of like nothing too exciting, but those other two, really enjoyed those ones. Really happy I picked those ones up. They were not on my radar really at all. So pretty excited about that. But I wanna hear from you guys. What are some other Latafa fragrances that I haven't got my hands on yet that I haven't talked about that you wanna see me talk about? Give it first impressions. Comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. I love getting your different recommendations, your input, hidden gems, taste and scent profiles. Appreciate you. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.